Welcome to the forecast for August 24, the energetic weather conditions that we are facing. My name is Jona Brindis, you all know this. I call the forecast when karma meets destiny. And instead of reinventing the wheel, I tuned into this uh, alignment that I actually made in 2021. Has shown itself as sort of a continuation, like an advanced version, okay, of where we were at uh, in 2021. If you guys remember, it's not too long ago, but we all have this uh, sort of ego avoidance, and um, that was a painful time for many of us. It forced us to make choices uh, that some of us regret, some of us. Uh, came to understand themselves much better. But, you know, this is still sort of working through us and it will for a few more years. So we still have to process some of these bigger karmic things as individuals. Now, as collective, you know, as, as there's always a bit of a delay, you know, we're, we're basically now hitting sort of the peak of uh, what I called uh, media wars or you know, uh, information wars, you know, like this is like full on confrontation with untruth right now. So uh, when I call it when karma meets destiny, okay, uh, really what I'm referring to is this delay that occurs, you know, um, between choices that we make. And I'm not necessarily talking about big choices. This can be little choices, like the way we choose to think about something or feel about something or simply the way we frame something uh, that uh, occurs uh, within ourselves or outside of ourselves. Listening to the alignment, you know, which uh, is, is, is here to empower us uh, to really trust in our inner truths with, you know, obviously all the, the deeper stuff, like uh, the ability to discern truth and stuff like that. So it's really, it's this very empowering alignment. You know, basically there to remind us to just simply don't care, to don't worry about what others think, you know, what their truth is, you know, to really trust in our inner truth and all the stuff that comes with it, the choices and the expressions. And so, so it connects us with basically our higher self and all other higher selves. Uh, it, it draws sort of the bigger circle here and makes it clear to us that, you know, there is sort of a bigger plan here that we all uh, kind of try to um, fulfill, uh, all sort of in slightly different uh, stages and timelines and so forth. But the, the bigger plan is kind of like the same for all of us. So everything here is supposed to grow, evolve, purify, refine, expand, and ennoble. And even nature, the elementals, yeah, the animals, the plants, the minerals. So all of it, all of it is here to grow, refine, and purify. Okay, here on your on your screen, you see the slide from July. It's not a mistake. I wanted to do a quick review because it's important that we uh, kind of understand sort of the currents of this these energetic uh, weather conditions, uh, which are not really sort of by calendar months. Although this <laughs> this time around, pretty much so. So, truth and consequences. Um, you know, with the task of internalizing karma was last month's. Um, a sort of prediction here or forecast. And um, it's quite interesting to see, you know, how well, you know, these, uh, uh, th these, these forecasts, you know, that this, this energetic language, yeah, that myself and, and some of you uh, can tap into, how well that actually reflects what happened. So in review, this is also a tool for us to internalize 
information reviewing yeah not just journaling not just expressing but also reviewing and going back and revisiting you know like how, how did this go and um uh, it's still july so we're still uh, seeing some of the effects um of uh, you know these these uh, uh, tools and consequence how did i say this you know tools and, uh, and consequences truth or consequences at the same time yeah so there's something very powerful unfolding right now and obviously the way our collective is is dealing with it um is now sort of uh, the part here in august and continued until december what we have to kind of learn to contextualize where we have to learn to see through you know the agendas and the narratives and you know, also the mind control that is occurring there, you know, what, why, what, what is this for, who benefits and so forth. Um, in review, you can see this very beautifully here, how, you know, things such as the assassination attempt on uh, Trump, you know, fell right into this revolution, evolution um, energy window, okay, and how, you know, these, these media wars and mind control how they're beginning to to uh, like I mean I, I call it the floodgates are open now yeah how this is all sort of exploding right into our face and it's not just the political stuff guys it's also uh, there was changes uh, the the earthquakes I don't know if you're aware of this there was multiple volcanoes multiple um, sort of earthquake or volcano related incidences and Iceland were waiting for another big one and that is as I've mentioned before, also proceeding for, you know, something that I'm expecting here on, on the U.S. West Coast. Okay, so uh, there's all like uh, sort of little sort of stages that the Earth goes through as she is uh, responding, you know, in, in, you know, as she's basically presenting the outer expression of our inner processes here uh, as humans. Uh, more revelations, objective reality awakening. So this is uh, now sort of the wake up call here, July 23rd. Um, you know, we do need to understand that, it, you know, when, you know, this, this, this media machinery uh, conspires to, to set us up for, you know, a certain opinion or a certain, not so much maybe like which, uh, party president or candidate to choose but like our perception of politics altogether our perception of you know how uh, all these problems and challenges in the world can be resolved like what's behind that that's really really important right now and if we you know sort of crawl in into our cave and you know basically uh, say to ourselves oh i'm not interested in politics you know that's kind of like outside of myself or that doesn't, um, you know, it's all bullshit and doesn't really affect me, then you are also in an illusion. You know, it does. You know, that's why I brought in the uh, the June 2021 energy because there, there was massive, um, uh, you know, control into your personal life. And we are looking at more of this here in the future to come. It's, it's inevitable. Okay, this is a, sort of the, the karmic wheel right now, yeah, steers everything to with this, you know, with the digital ID and, you know, 15 minute cities and all these kind of things. We've discussed this many times, you know, those are all things that will come. So there's not really, you know, I'm not calling you for activism or telling you, you know, you got to stand up and fight. And, uh, that's not really what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to assist you with is um, in how to handle this better and how to contextualize, you know, these collective developments so that you can better understand what your personal task is in this. Okay, so there are some things that we can't change. The divine plan is the divine plan. Everything has to grow. Okay, check. Yeah, we got that now. Um then there is, uh, you know, the, the 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 mechanics of that, you know, like birth and uh, flourishing and decaying. You know, these are things that we have to deal with uh, on our subconscious level. We have to deal with the fact that we die one day. Okay. But we have also begun to understand uh, 
begin to we, we've also began to understand how you know this fear of the unknown and the, you know the actual you know fear of death how that can manipulate how that can influence the way we see ourselves and the reality that we're in so when i am talking about these things that are coming all right uh, including you know transhumanism including you know the alien soap operas and uh you know all this sort of uh, agenda you know leading us into this this sci-fi world you know and this, into this like uh, uh dystopian sort of machine world okay i need you to understand that this isn't uh, you know to me to to make you feel scared this is to give you hope why because in accepting truth and in accepting you know what you're up against you can muster and this is almost like the purpose of life you can muster the the higher faculties the higher expressions in yourself to overcome them now that doesn't mean that you are so special that you don't have to suffer you know uh, how other people might have uh, or may have to suffer it's not the point the point is a different one you know you can you know you can you can handle this with uh, uh, ruminating and and and, be, and and becoming anxious and having panic attacks and crawling into your hole and disconnecting and isolating uh, from others you know because it's too hostile for you to process you can you know go outside and to you know get angry you know release all your anger through blind activism you know you can um, you know sort of seek the higher route and you know intellectualize it all and you know, not realizing, you know, how it's actually sort of inculcating uh, your own thinking, you know, you can do all that, or you can just look at it as what it is, okay, we are at the peak of confrontation with untruths, this is a phase, this is a phase we have to go through, and the more we can, on one hand, empower ourselves to know you know our role in this to know our sort of you know what we subscribe for what the values and the, the moral the morals and, and the virtues and so forth and and what it is that we stand for yeah the less confused and and thus the less susceptible we are we become and secondly to learn that we all go through this together guys and there is something that if you observe you know these these uh, these information this information this modern information warfare that we are experiencing right now that every and each and every and all messaging that occurs there is supposed to divide us more is supposed to separate to isolate, to, you know, go against one another more. And that is what you got to understand. So in that, August is a wonderful opportunity for us to clearly see this, to prove this to ourselves. You know, we, we still have the trauma in our bones, you know, from being a pioneer, uh, you know, of this sort of energetic uh, sensitivity waking up to our spiritual senses and organs and and we get chunned and we get laughed at and we get ridiculed you got to learn that this is over with you are now at the forefront of understanding these things without you know the need to go into the drama or the conspiracy of this it's obvious guys so seeing truth into the eye standing in the light of truth is extremely powerful that will give you hope it will give you courage and it will lead you to making better choices for yourself choices that you don't have to regret choices that don't lead to more karma choices that do not lower your energy but strengthen you in your sense of self so here on your screen you see a quote um from malcolm x if you don't stand for something you will fall for anything if you don't stand for something you will fall for anything i have been uh, quoting 
uh, this phrase uh, for many years already, um, because there was something about you know you knowing what you stand for, you becoming fully conscious of the choices that you make, yeah, to fully own them, to fully stand in your own karma and choosing your own destiny. This is very, very powerful. So seen from a spiritual point of view, from an energetic point of view, it strengthens, it consolidates your etheric energy and allows you to become impregnable. It allows you to become immune, immune to these outer, you know, like bombardments, these etheric bombardments through our minds through these mind manipulating techniques and uh, if you uh, read the forecast the transcript uh, here on my website you can also see links to two articles that i've written for this forecast uh one is the um you know learning about those manipulation techniques that the media uses uh, nowadays you know it used, we used to call it propaganda public relations because it sounds a little better yeah uh, and these techniques are priming nudging and framing yeah this is, is is the education that is needed for us to fully sort of penetrate you know the the reality you know the energetic reality of these untruths and if you can do that if you can see through that guys it becomes so much easier you lose all your fear because you see how they're doing it. Does that make sense? And that gives you choices. Nope, nope, not subscribing to that. Nope, nope, not falling for, nope, not letting that in. Nope, nope. You can believe what you want, that's fine. And I'm not interfering here, but as for me, nope, not buying it. Yeah. Because you are so strong in your own inner feeling that you have become, you know, almost, you know, almost, you know, not, not entirely, nobody is entirely immune, but, you know, become less susceptible to these, these external manipulation tactics. However, and this is the part here, the other side of this, uh, eventful and uh, quite dynamic month of August 24. Uh, we're also going to have to apply this to our own egos narratives, you know, the deceptions of our own mind. Yeah, and there's nothing more powerful than self-deception. So that's, by the way, why these, these manipulation tactics are so... Um, uh, why they work so well, because we have this tendency to be lazy. We have this tendency to resort to patterns and preconceived ideas. So our mind, the, our ego mind, you know, doesn't actually like change. It doesn't like to change um, the framework. It doesn't like to, to, to think for itself. Okay. And that's how we get to these statistics, you know, that uh, 80 percent of our thoughts aren't even our own because they're like literally spoon fed you know as sort of preconceived framings you know and priming and nudging which i explain in that article and you can google this yourself it's, it's, those are common manipulation tactics uh, in media and marketing but the second aspect here has to do with you know our own deceptions our own um you know projections and uh falsities with ourselves you know this isn't always um don't think of yourself as the as the worst here this isn't always a very deep <laughs> you know the way we see the world the way we see ourselves in the world um can be quite uh like a, a superficial sort of statement um you know that um uh, can reach really deep. So we have to watch, you know, our attitude and our sentiment, you know, to ourselves and others more. And that expresses in, you know, these 
these uh, karmic aspects in our relationships and yeah, not just our love relationships also our nuclear family ancestry and um you know the the, the, the you know the, the sort of the tribal surroundings that we have uh, wherever we live yeah so uh, karma of love is the second article that i wrote for you guys to better understand these energies that we're dealing with here in august and um continuing so um that uh, keeping that in your mind you know we're not just t talking about you know some like judgment day or rapture or you know the hand of god is coming over you no we're, we're talking about something that actually starts within you yeah and that has to be within you this power this free will this choice of what it is that you want to think what you want to allow in yeah and we all know that in our times it's also it's not just a mental energies it's also the physical the foods and you know the the emotional toxicity and so forth that we are surrounding us with that we need to become more precise and nitpicky with we can't afford you know allowing all these you know these toxic things into us anymore because our job is to grow our job is to find our higher expression and you know toxicity is is cumulative you know it, it will it adds up in us and if we are not careful we saw this during the pandemic you know it can lead us astray it can distract us into fear or into hatred or into doubt and depression on a level where we make very very big decisions without even realizing that somebody else made those decisions for us yeah so that's that's your job guys that's your job as conscious soul selves all right to pay attention to stay on your toes yeah to understand you know that yes it there is the winds of change are blowing upon us and they're not coming with like a light breeze they're coming with strong gusts okay but hunkering down isn't gonna do it you're gonna have to face it yeah and that's where you know like the new experience and the new sort of upgrade if you will comes in you you realize that if you actually do it i don't know if you've ever done this i i love you know sort of poking my head out when there's like 100 miles per hour winds out there you know where you have a hard time holding uh, yourself to the ground but it feels really good to feel that impact okay and that's because it it like actually gives you an opportunity to ground yourself more to find better inner balance yeah and then in not just in sort of this this metaphorical allegorical way but also in a practical way you know shows us what we need not just to feel safe also you know to endure to persevere to get through this with with a clarity to get through this with with creativity with graciousness and you know with in in full possession of our life force okay because what our ego narratives do is that they pull us into you know this what i called hunkering down earlier they pull us into the lower versions of ourselves the lower vibrations if you will and as such they make us more selfish they make us more checked out they make us more lazy yeah they make us become really good consumers drones almost that don't want to think for themselves and just rely on what you know the current the current messaging of the hive mind you know sort of uh, inculcates uh, by the way if you have access uh, to English speaking TV streaming platforms there is a, a kid series out of all companies you know I, I would have at least expected Disney uh, to produce such a beautiful series it's called the Benedict Society uh something like for a weekend um very very entertaining and it shows these aspects that i'm talking about 
uh, sort of in a slight kid version, but um, that's always sort of the art, you know, to to make things become so simple on one hand that everybody uh, can follow it, but then at the same time also showing really, really deep um, phenomena, you know, with, uh, with an E. So that's just a personal preference. So, Michael, can you say it again, what the name yeah, of it's the a movie? Disney, it's, a, it's a TV series. Um, uh, two seasons, if I remember this right, and it's 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 a Disney production, and it's called Benedict Society. Thank you. Something something like the, the Adventures of the Benedict Society, or something like that. But you'll find it. I don't know if it's available in other languages, but yeah, in Scandinavia you'll get it. Uh, you know, with subtitles. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just really entertaining, you know. And uh, since the March of uh, uh, since the, the month of, of August is uh, much more about our mental framing, um, not like July, which, which was heavily about our emotional framing. Uh, you know, it's cool to investigate those things. Uh, you know, our current um, expressions uh, of our culture, they, they reflect, you know, where the, the collective is. And uh, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this too. So uh, if there are little gems here and there that usually don't, uh, you know, aren't popular, you know, for the general audience, but uh, there, are, there are expressions of that. There are people out there, okay, that are aware of all these things, yeah, that um, also send positive messaging yeah, messages of, of courage and hope and how to overcome these things. We just have to pay attention. We have to learn how to read the energy of stuff. Yeah, the energetic quality of everything, you know, not just our own thinking and, 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 and wording and sentiments and acting, but also of all of that that comes in from the outside. So, yeah. August will feel like a strong gust of fresh air coming in through the floods of information. Yeah, we, we've already, we're already feeling that. And at first it may feel invigorating as it triggers many emotions in us and emotions are, you know, they shake something loose in us. So the, so our ego actually kind of likes that. You know, and it's not necessarily bad. Even anger, as you know, can be a, a, a very powerful activator, you know, of life force. Yeah, so at first we enjoy that and then we allow it to, you know, pull us into our old patterns, you know, be it our childhood stuff or, uh, you know, our past, you know, or fear of the future, whatever it is. And this is where it can get destructive. So that's where you got to be careful here because um, it is geared, yeah, the, this, inf this flood of information, you know, this uh, sort of what I've been calling mind control over the years. Um, is designed to do that and guess what we know that it's not even hidden none of that is hidden okay you just gotta open your eyes and stand in truth and then it's like as, as easy as as pie as americans say you know like to see it you're just gonna make a choice if you want to be part of it or not not because remember which part you know which which spirit it is that you're serving with your choices so august uh and this is coming in right now so literally right now this weekend shows us how our ego makes us selfish and unconscious yeah and how it lowers our energy yeah not not ego as in like sort of dark force but when we get caught in those those ego uh, ways of thinking when we get caught in our payoffs, you know, our victim attitudes, you know, we, we've talked about this last month, victim attitude is a very powerful affirmation of powerlessness. So if you want to be powerless and keep feeding your victim, okay, but if you want to learn how to overcome this and how to walk out, you know, with, you know, basically fulfilling your you know your promise to the divine and yourself you know namely to refine and purify and and ennoble yourself okay yeah to find your higher expression you can't allow that okay 
and it's not a like a 100% thing you're just gonna have to strive for becoming more and more aware of it so making the unconscious conscious now the the old uh, Vedics knew that you know the most powerful healer is insight is to making the unconscious conscious all right that's the highest healing resonance for all of us who suffer from either emotional pain or mental pain or physical pain or spiritual pain for that matter how because it increases the quality of your choices so when you allow your you know your ego narratives um you know to sustain and to uh, uh, be manipulated basically through toxicity uh, coming in from you know yourself uh, you know your, your self-deception and, and the outside uh, your choices are automatically low they're automatically leading to regrets to the need uh for forgiveness and um you know immense so in that you know the, the more unconscious we are the more we let our ego sort of just tag along okay the more karma you know we have to deal with and the, you know karma ultimately is a navigation tool for our destiny which we already know our destiny is you know to strive for our higher expression to simply become better you know and more conscious of who we truly are okay and that is something you know that uh, uh, the ego is, is not working against that it's just an immature version of that yeah it's the it's the puppy that needs to be trained okay and we're now being asked to do this in a more conscious fashion. So here is quote for August. You see the uh, the Lao Tzu phrase: "Watch your thoughts, as they become your words. Watch your words; they become your actions. Watch your actions; they become your habits. And watch your habits, as they become your character." Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. So that's basically just a sort of a more uh, allegorical way of expressing the same things that I just reported about. In the alignment for August, uh, I talk about the trust in my destiny and the ability to create miracles through no longer tolerating or enabling life or love degrading energies in or around me this is extremely important now so by choosing the path of conscious self-mastery I know that I can rely on my ability to sense anything or anyone trying to compromise my sense of self and self-love and now it comes guys and relentlessly call out those who want to steal my higher power. Relentlessly call out those who want to steal my higher power. Does this mean that you have to go uh, the, up on the barricades? No. No. You have to call this out within yourself. And of course, if you have trusted friends, you know, you can do that too. You don't have to scream it from the rooftops. You just need to kind of verbalize it for yourself so that you understand what it actually is that you're standing for. And again, just like in July, you know, because this is basically now here, the sort of the karma time, okay? Yeah, these next uh, six months are all karma. So karma work can make us realize that there is a loving higher power at work not to judge us, but to nudge us, to go into our higher expression. So I found that quite funny, actually, when I was writing the forecast, you know, that I've used the word nudge us here in context with karma work and, and higher power, you know, and, you know, and, and, re and realizing, you know, that the nudging occurs, you know, where we are being called on our higher um, virtues, yeah, where we are 
you know, basically given choice, we were given a choice. Yeah, that's sort of the free will, the, the law of the universe. But at the same time, we're also being nudged into the same direction, just like how you would do this with puppy training. You know, you, you want your dog to be independent and and uh, uh, smart and, uh, you know, have sort of the, the right feeling for things and align, you know, to you and uh, what you as, as your dog's master, so to speak, you know, uh, want them to become, okay? But at the same time, you know, by giving them that option, you know, you also, you know, have to find the right motivation. So a lot of times, and this is something that applies to puppy training as well as working with our own ego and working with our karma, is we, we really got to become aware of the, the hidden agendas, the motivations. And if you have a hard time, you know, decoding, you know, these old patterns in you, or let's say you see the patterns, but you, you don't quite know yet how to um, approach it or how to overcome them, well, the easiest way to do that then is to look at what you, what your ego gets out of, um, you know, in engaging with the, you know, whatever those um, behaviors are, okay, and um, become creative to find new ways, yeah, new motivations. Yeah? How how can you redirect that? Okay, so my puppy likes to chew on shoes, and that's obviously annoying. <laughs> Uh, so what do I do? Can I uh, can I get a puppy to stop chewing on things? No. But what I can do is allocate or give it the things that it's allowed to chew on, you know, and and praise it and and you know like facilitate that, you know, and make it much more interesting for the puppy to chew on a stick, you know, or a bone, okay, rather than my shoes because if she chews on my shoes, well, then, you know, mom gets mad, you know, or, you know, scolds me. Yeah, so you guys see the inner themes here, uh, just real quick to start wrapping up things and, and doing the um, absentee readings. Uh, there was a sort of a mental etheric reset that occurs here in August. It's like an activation that actually happens right at the end of July. So. Uh, here within, you know, sort of this next week. And uh, the purpose, or, you know, you can't really say what was there for first, the chicken or the egg, but the effect, you know, is that it will help us to grow our inner capacity to discern, yeah, to discern the energetic quality, the inner feeling, you know, and uh, basically the truth from within ourselves. Understanding our destination, you know, and here I put the word promise in parentheses for you guys uh, here as in my live audience who work with me in the Energetic Training Club and uh, the Sacred Self Healing Community and the Spiritual Initiation Program is something that you're familiar with. The promise to the divine and to your own higher self, namely to evolve, refine, expand and you know basically evolve yeah that is your destination that is your destiny okay so uh, you know the, the the good choices are choices that lead toward that okay and bad choices are choices that try to prevent that or that um restrict that now yeah, it's a different way of looking at good and bad yeah so understand your destination understand your destiny not in this transfigured sort of new agey way yeah um that love and light will win love and light will win <laughs> in the end but not how you know our ego mind sort of paints it yeah it's it's a different way we first have to learn the true meaning of love and light and light always stands for truth yeah, so love and truth and the freedom to actually explore that, those are the, yeah, the, the pillars, you know, of our evolution of consciousness. So that's your destiny. And anything that um, 
restricts it, uh, restricts it or impedes it or you know goes against it, that creates karma. Um, you know, basically the nudging, yeah, sort of the cosmic nudging um, to remember who you truly are. Yeah, the big uh, theme here for all of us uh, internally uh, is the clearing of this deception of powerlessness, this this victim attitude that we have been, um, for the most part, actually programmed with. Okay, so it's a lot more rewarding in our society, materially rewarding, but also in regard to like attention and likes and so forth uh, that we get from others when we are victims of something as opposed to, you know, uh, standing our ground and, you know, making a stance for ourselves. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the victimhood affirms powerlessness and as a consequence of that affirmation, we then become powerless. So this is the self-fulfilling prophecy that we need to uncover here through our unconscious expressions. Yeah, uh, every thought that goes into the direction that I can't do anything about this, you know, uh, etc., cetera, uh, really, you know, pulls you deeper into the abyss of powerlessness. So. While there's a reality sometimes that we have to face, you know, that the things we want to do, we can't do or not in the time frame that our ego wants to or whatever, uh, that that might be restricted. That's okay. But then, you know, we can also just state it's going a lot slower than I thought it is or would or than I wanted it. And, and that's okay too, um, because what that tells me is that there's still things that um, you know, I need to refine or that I need to, to purify, that I need to clear out uh, before those things that I can clearly feel as my destiny uh, to come in. So when destiny or when karma meets destiny, it's really that, that zero point where uh, you can feel, you know, what, uh, you know, the consequences of your choices uh, you know how those reflect in your physical reality, and and that you actually have a choice. That it's that that moment. Uh, Eckhart Tolle would call it the mo the power of now. You know that moment when you realize that you know sort of the the bigger uh, sort of uh, or, uh, divine plan. Yeah, this this organic um, evolution path that you are on will happen no matter what. It will happen with or without you, if you will. But, you know, there is, uh, you know, a way to do this consciously and actively participate in that, which then in return reduces, uh, you know, the karma and struggle and pain. Okay. Um, and, uh, or, you know, you, you know, try to push through your, your ego desires and, uh, you know, your, your, your projections and, your wishful thinking and uh, experience uh, karmic setbacks. So August has a lot of that setback energy. Although if you are of those that have already chosen to be more active participants in their, you know, in the uh, sort of fulfilling of that promise to the divine and, and your higher self, you, you're not going to feel it as, um, uh, as an impotence, you're going to feel it uh, more so as an, an, a welcome learning experience. Probably, and uh, I'll, I'll go through through this here in a moment, you know, the biggest learning experience is, uh, you know, how to sort of inoculate your, yourself from, you know, all these outer distractions, um, uh, you know, and, and sort of dramas that are now you know, really, really unfolding, as I said in the forecast, you know, the floodgates are open. Yeah, read the transcript, read the forecast and the attached articles explaining, um, you know, sort of the spiritual science behind the karma of love and also the uh, psychological science huh, of marketing and propaganda. Uh, that can uh, greatly help you to understand you know, like how your your way of thinking and your mental processing 
is uh, not as, uh, um, let's say, voluntary as you think it is. Yeah. So 80% of your thoughts aren't your own. And 90% of your thoughts are repetitive. There's a reason for this. This is uh, all uh, basically product of our, you know, uh, sort of uh, mental uh, indoctrination through, you know, technology. This is something that we do need to keep an eye on. We need to find a middle ground. We need to find, we need to learn to leverage this. Yeah, we do. We all love the conveniences of modern technology, but we have to understand the dangers of over electrifying our lives and allowing those that those messages to come in unchecked so uh, base, basically you know what we need to uh, really become more aware of is how lazy our mind is and it really uh, you know isn't because you're not smart enough or whatever you know in fact actually studies have shown that people are really smart so the the the, the higher your intelligence, the more likely you're going to fall for mind control and manipulation through public relations. Okay, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, there is a laziness in, in our mind, um, you know, sort of a comfort in uh, confirming our own sort of preconceived ideas. They're called confirmation bias. And that's why we tend to, you know, only see and only like the kind of information that um, you know, we've already sort of deemed as as the right one. Uh, especially here in America, you can see this in the media where it really isn't about truth. It, it's about right, uh, you know, and about winning. Okay, so that's something to, con to, to, to keep an eye on, you know, like what is your motivation? Do you want to be right? Do you want to be the winner? <laughs> or do you want to be authentic? The tool for this, apart obviously from, you know, self-reflection and, uh, you know, engaging with others and, you know, opening yourself up is uh, here, you know, the next level tool, if you will, of, of self-mastery is to learn to feel into the energetic quality of our words, of our inner narratives, of our sentiments, of our attitudes to ourselves and others. Uh, really the bigger uh, sort of collective healing task that is that is now arriving for us here for these next year and a half. I watched the, the videos on, um, you know, my predictions until 2027 and uh, until 2030. You know, the, that's, uh, you know, the, the, the decoupling from a uh, societal uh, programming. It's something that we really, you know, need to uh, grow into now. We need to understand that, you know, the programming is there. It's nothing bad. Yes, there's, there's also dark forces that take advantage of it. But, um, you know, it's, it's sort of part of learning how to live together, part of, you know, developing, you know, the, the right ethics and moral considerations of, um, you know, living with 8 billion people, okay? So uh, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, minimizing the negative effects. On the contrary, but, you know, when, you, when you're able to see truth and, and you're seeing the, the larger developments that we still have to go through as a collective, you also understand that it's just really part of our growing process. We have to learn that. We have to learn to leverage that how we process information, how uh, we can, you know, really grow into our higher faculties of thinking because our consciousness is extremely powerful. We, we, we just don't know how to wield this correctly yet. Okay, so that's, that's our collective task. Um, the, the individual or, or more sort of in-depth uh, personal things that you can do, you know, uh, is to to engage in spiritual routines. It doesn't have to be prayer. If you're not into, you know, praying, it can be 
an invocation or a mantra or, you know, any kind of routine, you know, even uh, just simply breathing technique, touching the ground with your bare feet, centering your breath in your heart and, and, and connecting with yourself as sort of the outer hull, the, 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 the vehicle, you know, for your higher self in this lifetime. That can already make a big difference and to consciously choose how you want to embrace this day. Uh, also here in August in particular, really important is uh, the body awareness, uh, the, you know, the, 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 your, your health authority to really become more conscious about your nutrition um, and, uh, you know, like uh, uh, everything that you ingest, yeah, including the thoughts, including the emotions, including the energies that you surround yourself with, but in particular with foods. This will become increasingly important now. There are things here in uh, August uh, as uh, sort of new outer themes uh, that have to do with uh, the quality of food, that has to do with the quality of water. So we're going to have problems with water. We're going to have problems with food in August. And that's something that, you know, you can only fully you know, sort of not understand, but, you know, know what to do about this if you actually already um, formed, a, you know, deeper understanding of this. So this is all part of this information media warfare, you know, to, um, yeah, to drive us into this powerlessness, to drive us into this, uh, 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 this sort of dead end of believing that we have no other choice than to succumb whatever is being presented to us as the only solution or the only person that can get us out of that. You got to be really, really careful when you hear this. Uh, he or her is the only person that can get us out of this or that can solve all problems or that will make it all good again. That's not truth. So in August, we will continue to have these, these shocking re revelations uh, that I have been talking about for years. Um, I was very, uh, by the way, very shocked to see that um, YouTube informed me that it took some of my videos down from like 2020 and 21. Okay, in a time when we actually thought that, you know, the the whole sort of uh, pandemic uh, uh, stuff as is is out in the open. There's six thousand studies now proving that, uh, you know, about the effects of. Uh, the vaccine, the COVID vaccine, and also the, uh, you know, sort of uh, revealing sort of the, uh, the the manipulation in the the, the the COVID narrative. Okay, so I, I'm not really sure why YouTube thinks that um, my reporting about this way back then, you know, while we're in it, uh, is now sort of against community guidelines. But uh, that's part of you know, this expression and, and, and what I'm trying to show you here is that, uh, you know, shocking revelations will, will continue to come, it, it, you know, they, they will distract us and they will confuse us, okay? Uh, also, and this is, uh, you know, quite prevalent here, especially to the middle of the month, um, sort of explosive events. So this, I've already talked about this in July, this will continue in August. And uh, what we will see now is um, uh, also uh, like an attack, so not so much against a particular person, although I do believe that uh, there will be more assassination attempts um, uh, on world leaders here down the road. But um, it will be um, more and more uh, clear that we are being nudged into into believing that war is the only solution for all the problems that we're having, and that is obviously not the case. Um, how is that been, uh, being uh, brought about? It needs a trigger, and that trigger uh, is due to come in August, a trigger, like an attack, okay? More like an attack uh, on, uh, you know, uh, of the, the 
the nature of like September 11th, you know, where it really sort of rattles the, the, the symbolic power of a country. Now, this could be in the United States, but um, I'm actually seeing uh, this uh, in another country. Uh, so we'll have to see, but there will be like, uh, you know, like a really strong shock waves through the collective and similar with 9-11, uh, change the, the public perception of things. Um, also, so on our personal level, problems of water, you know, like uh, indicate that we probably uh, should pay more attention to the quality of water that we ingest. Uh, but also, um, you know, like like in the bigger sense of water, you know, um, floods um, and hurricanes, um, as well as a big um, uh, earthquake uh, shift, uh, you know, that we, uh, that, or that I have been predicting here for July already. So this is coming closer and closer, guys. I, I, I don't want to make you afraid, but I do want to let you know that there are you know, these temple markers that show that we're getting closer and closer to that. So we've had a bunch of volcanoes erupting this month and this continues. Okay, uh, watch uh, Iceland um, because that is directly related. So the, uh, the earthquake activity in Iceland, uh, which sits directly on, you know, the, the, both the uh, um, North American and European tectonic plates uh, and they're drifting apart in Iceland so basically enlarging the island uh, over time uh, is uh, one of those temporal markers so you know if you want to get sort of a feel for this and, and, and why this is happening and so forth I've reported about this before but it's directly related with the changing of alliances and the changing of how we perceive each other's each other as nations yeah, so the war of all against all, something that is predicted in the Bible and something that is now becoming uh, more and more apparent, okay? How, you know, the, like this separation, segregation, division, um, polarity, and, uh, you know, sort of almost sort of a spiritualized um, uh, or a spiritualization of war, you know, uh, similar to the Crusades, how I contextualize it in the forecast, uh, you know, is creeping in now, guys. So this is this is big, okay. And it and, and and many talk about this battle in heaven. Heaven, the battle in heaven uh, is 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 been going on, and you know, and there's encounters, and they have taken place. Uh, we here in the physical are just sort of the ones that express that with delay. So it's it's expressing through us, and to, you need to make your choice if you want to be part of it or not. The codebreaker tool for August is understanding the tools of mind control. Read the article about um, the. Uh, nudging, framing, and priming, and how that is being used for, you know, public relations and uh, manipulation of our collective perception to get a better sort of feeling for it. This, this has nothing to do with conspiracy, guys. This is all science, okay? There's billions of, of dollars that were spent on figuring this out, how to best speak to our subconscious, yeah, how to implement... Um, what they call priming, you know, sort of receptor, sub subconscious receptor, receptors in our psyche, you know, to to be more open in, um, you know, sort of for for new realities that are manufactured, manufactured realities, okay, and then to occasionally not just into that direction, uh, while giving us the feeling that we have a free choice, and then ultimately you know, uh, presenting us with those contextualizations and these frameworks that then present uh, only one solution, sort of uh, the one, the, the desired one for, for the powers to be uh, as, uh, you know, the way out. So uh, be careful here. That's when karma meets destiny. So um, it, when it comes to the energetic challenges here in 
uh, the month of August. Uh, we're going to have to uh, watch out. We're probably going to have a little more headaches and neck tension uh, throughout the months. If you are on the southern hemisphere, uh, you, you're going to have a lot more rain uh, than usual around this time. And if you're on the northern hemisphere, uh, you are actually going to have a lot more heat than you than is usual for uh, at this time of the year, which I know in some northern countries uh, will be a, a welcome reprieve because you guys didn't really have that nice of a summer yet. So you guys can look forward to a nice summer uh, here where we are at, uh, Florida. Uh, you know, we are expecting quite a, an, an active and intense hurricane season now. So due to those uh, uh, elevated uh, temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean. So we'll see. Um, uh, this, you know, overall sort of weather patterns changing and so forth are also manifestations of, you know, karma meets destiny because they, they are literally the physical expressions of our planet Earth, you know, in response to all this this inner division and and in a um, sort of turmoil that we're all going through. So the best way to counteract that um, is, you know, by something that we never really have on our radar, but, you know, to actually go and connect with the planet, connect with Gaia, ask her, you know, what she needs, ask her what she wants us to do picture it like a mom you know who's watching her kids fighting okay what would a mom or dad want or need you know if if they're getting uh you know like stressed out by their kids kids fighting all the time now that's a nice sort of image uh, to feel into uh, what we can do as individuals, ask. You know, what, what is the energy that is needed here to overcome constant fighting? That's, I'm a mom and I've had four kids in my car that were constant fighting, constantly fighting. And I know exactly <laughs> what that is. Okay, and that is what we're experiencing now. So... There's no reason to be afraid, okay? So accept that as the reality, accept that as part of, of, of what we need to go through here in the month of um, August and continued. Uh, just understand that the way you can uh, actively change things is really through your attitude, through the, your way of thinking, through the way you hold uh, and frame your emotions and especially um, you know, the the uncovering of your own ego's deceptions, your self-deception, you know, like, uh, yes, I understand that uh, many people uh, reject the reality that is, but, you know, it, it is there, okay? So by rejecting it or by denying it, uh, you're not going to prevent yourself from the consequences of it. So this is a, a, a big learning curve here that we all have to make is that, you know, Things like the transhumanism and uh, digital ID and all these things that we see coming. It's, it's like a slow, slow, slow boulder that is rolling down the hill toward us. Our house is at the foot of the hill and it's rolling and it's rolling slowly, almost in slow motion. And then all of a sudden, you know, it is there and, uh, and we think it's higher power that overcame us. Yeah, or some kind of uh, punishment for something. No, guys, this has been there. Yeah, this has been reported about. I have been reporting about it for 15 years already. It's not rocket science. is coming, and we need to step into this now. We need to own, you know, our own responses to that. And that has to do with understanding our destiny. And it has to do with the spiritual and karmic aspects of life. Because they... They steer us to with the higher, you know, um, abilities to, the, <coughs> sorry, to leverage all that. 
Yeah, it's part of our human karma to learn to wield technology without taking off with it. Yeah, because it can, with so many other things, we've seen this already, all also work against us. So we're going to have to learn to self-responsibly as a race, as a, as a humanity, to deal with these things. Uh, noteworthy or important dates in this month um, are definitely here at the end of July where this activation of, you know, this, this uh, sort of necessity to discern truth, yeah, the confrontation with untruths, as I call this, um, uh, comes in here on uh, the last day of July and then, you know, sort of reaches its, its peak at, at the middle uh, around the middle of the month, yeah, like right around the 13th, 14th of August. Um, you know, those are times where you, you, you just have to expect that things are a little tricky and a little uh, emotionalized. Yeah, we have, we have to understand that these things kind of have to go through their emotions. And, and our job is to, you know, make an effort to, to be conscious, to be, you know, to a certain degree gracious, you know, and uh, understand, you know, how our own attitudes and, and notions, how they contribute to either development. Yeah, in other words, uh, you know, we can't uh, just pretend it's not happening because uh, just like with the pandemic, it's going to affect us. Okay, no matter what our choices are. So, uh Looking at this time, especially to the 19th, 20th of August, you know, where there's a possible attack, possible, you know, these, these explosive events, they come in as energies, you know, there's also the time for these earthquakes, you know, and continuing to at the end of August. Uh, but more importantly, you know, these um, political uh, saber wrestling and, and standoffs. Okay, so there's something big coming our way here in a political uh, way uh, that has to do with war talks, that has to do with, you know, the big nations, our nations getting involved, getting more involved in, uh, you know, this war against all. Uh, and that uh, you will see to it the, 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 the last uh, uh, quarter of of August, you know, starting with like maybe the 22nd, 23rd, uh, where there's um, all these inner schisms, you know, these, these ego narratives where they get activated in individuals, yeah, and you know what that can do if you have sort of a tyrannical personality or a sociopathic uh, personality that can lead to quite, you know, some un uh like not so uh, uh, beautiful expressions yeah like really low expressions so around the 23rd um i'm also seeing uh, issues with our financial markets um no worries about that that always uh, there's uh, some of that is seasonal and some of it is really um you know these shifts uh, in conjunction with um you know earth changes uh climate uh, disasters and so forth, uh, political shifts and uncertainty. Yeah, it's all culminating. It's all coming together now. So please, guys, uh, stay calm, stay awake. Okay, uh, don't just try to escape. You know, by ignoring it, because that's not going to help you. You're gonna have to face the confrontation uh, with, you know, all these different agendas and. Uh, find a way for yourself to to stand your own ground. Yeah, if you are more on the spiritual side of things, you have no reason to hide. You should feel proud. You should feel empowered. You know, to to be able to see these things with uh, maybe a little more in, in, intuitive understanding. Yeah, but without the fear, without the the judgment and and the. Uh, um, uh, you know, sort of this 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 uh, drama, you know, around dark forces uh, trying to get you. You know, so uh, while this is actually true, <laughs> yeah, it's very important for us to learn how to leverage that as well. How do these forces? How do 
either of the four? How do spirit beings work through us? Which, what spirit beings are involved in, you know, this, this sort of shaping of our realities? Yes, this is a spiritual science. That is something if you feel attracted to this if you want to learn about this you, you're gonna have to engage with that you can't just say oh it's all the bad guys you know just trying to get you you know that's a negative attitude that is you know basically dark you know, think of uh, anakin Sky skywalker you know uh, uh, these these fairy tales and, and folk tales and you know the modern versions of that you know they they keep messaging uh, th that to us over and over again. If you fall for fear, if you fall for anger, if you fall for doubt, you know, you're basically feeding, you know, the dark side of the force. Yeah, and that's, and that's that. And you can change that any minute. You can change that any minute. You, you are in charge of that. And the moment you wake up to that reality is the moment where you realize that's, um, you know, that's your power. That's, you know, impregnable. It inoculates you, you know, from, uh, you know, all these outer uh, impulses that come in. So the month of August, again, explosive, hot and challenging. Okay. So allow, you know, your, your inner feelings to help you navigate, but without going um, out there and falling into the rabbit hole, you know, you have to sort of keep your balance here. You have to educate yourself on one hand and on the other hand, feel into the energetic quality, into the energetic feeling of statements, even your own thoughts, your own beliefs and, and your own coping patterns, because that's, you know, sort of the next level of self mastery. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we're at the end of our energetic tune-up and your personal readings. I will see you latest uh, in our Saturday, our last uh, wrap-up, soul, grace, soul, integrity, you know, our last session of this uh, current spiritual initiation uh, cycle. The year program is coming to an end tomorrow. And the new spiritual initiation cycle starts up on August 10th. So if you were in the energy in the energy training club, then you are automatically eligible to participate in that. So that's part of the energy training club. But if you just choose to come on Saturdays and you know do this uh, spiritual initiation with me, then uh, you can do that as well. Just check my website. All in all, guys, uh, yeah, get your popcorn out. Enjoy the show. You know, if you can see it for what it is, uh, then it can actually be quite entertaining. And other people will not find that entertaining, and they will need your help. So, yeah, uh, if uh, if you over the hump, remember, the next level of that is sharing. You know, sharing your insights, sharing your your views. Um, sharing your love. Okay. See you soon. Bye bye everyone. Destiny To love and peace within I dedicate myself. I am one with my higher self the part in me that is unchanging, eternal, and infinite. I embrace change as evolutionary path of my being and trust in my higher self to guide me through this 3D ego reality. Embrace all experiences as learning experiences and feel nothing but gratitude for any opportunity to grow.
when I follow the path of my heart, the gateway to my higher thinking and perceiving, my destination is crystal clear. Because as energetic being of light and love, my destiny is to become one with the divine in me. I need not to worry. I need not to judge. Because everything that was or will be is already inside of me. Through discerning, I learn to freely choose. Through trusting, I learn to love. Through loving, I learn to self-heal. Through healing, I learn to grow. And through growing, I serve the highest good of all. Whenever I dismiss my inner guidance out of fear, guilt, pride, anger or shame, I am feeding negativity and self-deception that is preventing me from feeling my true being. by consciously choosing to focus on the higher power of consciousness working through me as my inner truth. I can clearly experience the limitations of my ego mind and reality and how it distracts me from discerning my own thoughts, emotions and choices. I realize now that it is my highest destiny to overcome the darkness and loneliness of my separation from my true being. I could not see this before. feel this before. For as long as I identified with my mind and thoughts, I could not see myself as active co-creator of my life. As I am choosing to be present with my divine nature more and more, I begin to feel the miraculous power of higher thinking and perceiving of reality.
true self. I hear you now. I can feel how every thought, emotion, word or action either strengthens or weakens our connection. I realize that you have always been there, right in the middle. my sacred heart. To protect and guide me away from the darkness and confusion of ego distractions. I could not feel this until now. With you in my heart, I can learn that there is nothing to fear but the prison of my own distrust in myself that deceives me into believing that I am powerless. When I can remember to listen to you, and return your loving guidance for me through following the truth in my heart. I feel empowered, supported and strong. Because I know that through trusting in the I am in me, I become the sovereign my life's experience. Due to the power of this consciousness, I can see how my journey mirrors the evolution of all life. past lives, ancestors, and future lives, and how I am never alone. I am connected with all who are there on this path, and together we trust in one another. I know this now. Help me to remember this when I am low and lonely. Fill me with faith that gives me the clarity, courage and determination to trust in my true destiny. Thank you. I humbly recognize how all sicknesses of the human soul are essentially the pain of not trusting in the love the divine has for us. And therefore, consciously choose to refuse a reality without this life-giving love at the center of it. In my heart, I know that love and forgiveness can raise me above my fear and negativity, always.
through the power of this higher knowing, I hear with clear all attachments, limitations, energetic ties and karmic binds in any dimension or time to any person, entity or ego illusion. go of all fixations, gluttony and greed, and refrain from seeing myself or the world as untrustworthy. Nothing and no one has the right to violate my trust, integrity or boundaries. I am not afraid. I trust in my destiny and ability to create miracles because I no longer tolerate or enable life or love degrading energies in or around me. By choosing the path of conscious self mastery, I know that I can rely on my ability to sense anything or anyone trying to compromise my sense of self and self-love and relentlessly call out those who want to steal my higher power. I declare my conscious self now and at all times. Higher self, thank you for my energetic sensitivity as it shows me when I need to stand my ground when I need to walk away, when I need to clear, self-correct, and when I need to heal. Keep showing me the path to my heart's love and encourage me to embrace and express how I truly feel. I want you to be the only voice of my heart. Speak to me in my dreams. Let me hear this voice that empowers me to trust in my destiny. So that I have the power to overcome the temptations of fear in our darkness. Show me what to let go of to feel in a peace and give me the courage to have faith so that I can trust in myself. Now I can truly rest in my heart. As all there is left to do is to live and create my life in love and truth. Thank you.